welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie and this is the weekly wrap up for the fourth week in October, October the 21st through the 27th. wrap-up for week four and I read a total of five books. Ugh. I actually think my list for currently reading and will be reading next week is much longer than um, the books that I actually read. So let's just jump into what I did read for last week and to start off the week I read 30 Days by Christine uh, Diablo. Wow I couldn't get that out. I place this in erotica. I give this book four stars. I read this book in a physical form to knock off one of my physical book challenges. And this book follows Alyssa. Alyssa is a newly widowed wife um, or woman. Her husband died of cancer. I read a lot of cancer books this week. Wow. Um, he died of cancer and then he gave her some cards. Some three by five cards that had sexy things on them. Well, he's been dead for like a year, I think. I think it was. I vaguely remember there's a time lapse there. And she decides to check out these cards. <sighs> Woo! 30 cards for 30 days. And... Yes, so then there's this hot next door neighbor named Harrison who happens to overhear her doing one of the cards and he's hot and he takes it upon himself to introduce himself and then offers his services. So the two of them sort of navigate the cards and it was supposed to be no strings attached, but of course we always know there are strings to be attached. The next book I read was The Gravity of Us, Elements Number 4 by Brittany C. Cherry. This book, I read it for Read Bliss, and I place it in Contemporary. I give this book five stars. I listen to it on audiobook, and I have never, I don't think I've ever, or it's been a long time since I have hated a character, hated two characters, both characters, male and female characters, from like the start of the book to like 60% and maybe even a little more than that. Graham, 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 Graham. Graham is our anti-hero douchebag of a guy that is burying his father and you just hear right off the bat that his father is a horrible, horrible guy. And you're like, okay, Dude, I get that your dad's an asshole, but damn, damn, does that really mean you gotta be so cold and just evil? And then we have Lucy, who is this sort of free spirit. She feels everything, whereas Graham feels nothing. He's all sorts of closed off. And then some things start to happen. Things start to happen. Yes they actually end up meeting and come to find out they have this connection that in some ways is a bit of a taboo sort of thing. Some people may find it taboo and like, I can't deal with that in my book or what have you. This, I was like, the reasons for this happening, for their connection, I was like, ah, screw her. Screw that other person and she gets no say in what the hell's going on. No, 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 no. And then more information is revealed about Graham's past. More information is revealed about Lucy's past. And yes, by the end of this book, I was in tears. And luckily I was in public because I almost like did definitely had like this public cry thing going on. It was, it wouldn't have been pretty. Would not have been pretty me sitting at swim practice all. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't have been cute. But overall, I ended up loving this book. Loving this book. Loving it. Next, I read Between Here and the Horizon by Callie Hart. I place this in Contemporary. I give it five stars. This is a reread for me. I listened to it on audiobook. And oh my goodness. I read this as an arc two years ago, almost to the date, and was completely moved by it. Now, I will say there are triggers in this book 
for suicide, for depression, for PTSD, for a couple of other mental health issues. And yeah, it's a little heavy. It's a little heavy. But if you can make it through and allow the story to sort of wash over you, it is such a beautiful, beautiful journey. So you have Ophelia who is hired by Ronan and Ronan is a father of two who needs his kids to be homeschooled on an island in Maine. An island in Maine. He's also a war hero and yeah, that's all I'm going to tell you. But Ophelia has some issues with an ex-husband, her parents' house or restaurant is going underwater so she's trying to you know take on that responsibility and things like that uh yes you feel for ophelia you feel for ronin and the kids are just amazing so many so much goodness so much goodness next i read sugar pine trail which is haven point number seven by Rianne thane i placed this in contemporary i read it for reed bliss and i give it four stars i read it as an arc because it was given to me by reed bliss partnership so yeah this book follows Julia. Julia is the small, small town librarian that ends up in a Victorian sort of house that her mother used to live in with these cats. And these cats are like, screw you, um, you're not the mom here and we run this place. Well, Julia sees that there are two little kids that stop into her library every day and it's getting cold in Idaho. So she takes it upon herself to figure out what's going on. Come to find out, their mother has severe PTSD and has went off her meds. And so Julia figures out a way to take these kids in so that they're not split up. The kids are sort of defiant about that in the beginning. But overall, she ends up winning them over and winning their trust. And... Then there is Jamie. Jamie is renting a room in Julia's Victorian house. And yeah, so we have all that going on. And we find out that there's more going on. There's a good connection between Julia and Jamie. And it's just special. He has his own sort of background that he's dealing with and fighting with. And she is trying to find her way as well. Next, I read Claimed by Her Mates, Interstellar Brides Number 3 by Grace Godwin. And <sighs> this book is placed in sci-fi erotica. And I give it three stars. I listened to it on audiobook. I was not very happy with this. This book follows Leah. Leah is trying to get away from Earth because she has some issues in her past. And she wants to be away from that person. So she gets into the Interstellar Bride program. And the matches that she makes is with a set of triplets. But these triplets are special. These triplets were separated at birth. And they don't know each other. Until now. When they've been wanting to unite their sectors and things like that. This book made me roll my eyes on oh so many different aspects of it because for one I don't know how many times I was told that these three had to breed with with Leah with their magical seed and because of their magical seed she was all in heat at every just I'm, I'm in heat Woo! I need it I got to have give me give me your seed I need your seed all about the seed and I was just like oh my god can we not say magical seed anymore and the fact that they kept making her out like oh we only want a kid from you we don't like the other guy I don't like my identical twin but or my identical triplet but you know I I'm gonna screw you in all three of your holes just so we can make this happen and but I don't like him I don't like him and I'm never gonna like him and I'm just gonna do what I have and it kept repeating how much they hated each other and how they just didn't get along and how only this one would like that. And, oh, back to the magical seat again. And then it was, ugh, I was like, really? Did, did, did the same author write this book as 
the first two books because the first two books there was some repetitiveness but it was okay it was like okay you you repeated that once or twice and you know i already knew that thanks for telling me again but this one it was like all the way through i mean it was like ugh. if i heard about her ma that magical seed though i was like ugh. so on to the books that I am currently reading. I am currently reading Secrets by Alethea Roman. I have this as an arc. My review will most definitely be done by next weekend. I wanted it to be done today, but it's not. Um, I'm really intrigued by this book and this story, and I need to get it done. Needs to get into it. I'm also finishing Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Um, so far, I'm in the camp that the TV adaptation, or Netflix adaptation, I think it was, is gonna be better. Yep. At this point, I'm like, uh, where did we get, mm, I'm glad they changed that. I don't understand. I'm like 60% into it, too, at that, so I'm like, am I gonna start liking this story at any point? Because right now I'm like, I could care less about uh, the main character, the firefighter. Uh, what is it? Montague or Mo Morgan or whatever his damn name is. I'm like, yeah, whatever. So next week, I will also be clearing out my digital library books that I have. And that consists of The Drama Teacher by Corin. Zalakis, I think it is. I saw it come up and was like, ooh, this looks dark and twisty, and I kind of want to read this for October and Halloween. So, yeah, getting to it. I'd Rather Be Reading by Anne Bogo, and this was a recommendation from Brie from over at Brie Hill, said this is a really insightful sort of story, and I hope I get to it. Next is, or I will get to it. Next is Sing, Unburied Sing by Jasmine Ward. And I heard about this book all through the summer from the other black tu booktubers that are on YouTube. And I was like, I need to get to this. So it finally came up off the waiting list for me and I'm going to be listening to it. Next is When Through Deep Waters by Rachel Decker. And this had a creepy sort of October feel to it as well. So I wanted to read it and I will be. And then finally, I am doing a buddy read with a friend from Voxer and we're going to be reading Cry Wolf by Patricia Briggs. Whew. So that is my list of things that I read last week. Also, the things I'm working on this week and doing and reading and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, have you read any of the books that I just named off or talked about? Or does anything sound from, you know, good? <laughs> does anything sound interesting that you're going to be enjoying that I'm going to be reading this week or that I'm continuing to read? Let me know down in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. Thank you for watching, and we will see you guys later.